Kuru Kuru Kurugen is a game that came out all the way back in 2001 for the Game Boy Advance, and it's a game that we never got to experience here except for a couple months ago when Nintendo finally brought it over to the West in the form of putting it on the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass GBA service, and now we can play it finally, translated into English, and it was such a great time. So let's get started with my retro review of Kuru Kuru Kurugen. And tell me that's not really good pronunciation, right? So this is a game all about a bird whose family goes missing. You play as a bird and pilot this insane ship thingy that spins around. You try to make your way through these insane abstract levels while not letting the ship touch the sides of the level or the different obstacles in your way. This creates some pretty frantic gameplay, so you essentially need to maneuver yourself in all these different ways in order to get to the end. There are a ton of different obstacles and sometimes there are these spring things on the wall that you will need to use in order to get your ship spinning in the opposite way so that you can maneuver over different tight corners and things like that. Each level itself is around a minute long, but especially towards the end of the game, it's going to take you multiple tries, sometimes being upwards of 10, to get through the level finally, as long as you're not using that rewind feature too much, you know? This game is really fast paced and forces you to think on your toes and really approach this sort of puzzle gameplay style in a completely new way. Around halfway into the level, there are these areas where you can land and regain some health, thankfully. You start each level with three hearts, and each time you touch a wall, they are taken. Luckily, there isn't like a life system here, so if you die, you can just get right back into the game, which did make it super easy to get back into over and over and over again and not have to worry about the last death or something like that. So the pacing is pretty fast paced which means that I ended up beating Kuru Kuru Kurugen in around five and a half hours which isn't super long but for a GBA game and for a game that's essentially free if you already pay for the service it had a lot of value and it was a really good time for me. As I sort of alluded to earlier, the one thing is that suspend points and rewinding can sort of cheat you through this game really easily, and I don't recommend using them as much as you can. There was one point for sure at the end where I did use a suspend point because I was like, there's no freaking way I can do this, and I was getting super, super frustrated, but like really try to hold yourself back from rewinding constantly because part of this game is finally getting through that level that's really been giving you trouble and it's super, super rewarding. Onto another huge positive of the game is the graphics. Honestly, some of the best age graphics are the Game Boy Advanced. This essentially looks like a more polished version of those SNES graphics, and they are stunning in this game. This game is very colorful and inventive, with random sort of abstract levels that looked great in a pixelated style. The character designs of the birds, while we only really see them in cutscenes, are also phenomenal. Also, this is my favorite animation in the entire game, and tell me it's not absolutely adorable. Just getting in the ship, you know what I mean? It's so cute. This game, while being fairly simple, has a ton of personality and charm. It's frustrating at times to maneuver yourself around, but the gameplay is so addictive that you will definitely learn and eventually master each and every level. The story of reuniting this bird with their siblings is so classically charming in every way, and while the gameplay is very different in this game, the charm of it reminded me a lot of Kirby and the Hell Laboratory games like Box Boy, which by the way, Nintendo, we need another one. Like, please. If you are at all interested in a fantastic piece of Nintendo history that all of us thought was lost to time and was never going to be translated over into English for the Western audiences to enjoy, here it is for the first time. It's a really great time. Overall, I do give this game a solid 8.7 out of 10. It's probably pretty high for what you think this game is, but I had such a good time with it. It was fun, addictive gameplay that really just kept me going back over and over and over again. If you like this review, I have more GBA reviews. You can check out this review of Metroid Fusion right over there. And thank you so much for checking out this video. I appreciate you. Adios.